One of the most common conditions we care for in the hand and upper extremity program is the pediatric trigger thumb. Pediatric trigger thumb refers to a thumb that catches, locks, or is in a persistently flexed position. Pediatric trigger thumbs are thought to affect as many as three in 1,000 children and are distinctly different from trigger fingers or trigger thumbs in adults. Though the exact cause of trigger thumbs in children is unknown, we think that it's due to a mismatch in the size of the tendon to the thumb and the tendon sheath or tunnel through which that tendon runs. This size mismatch, in some senses, acts a bit like a knot in your shoelace. And we all know that if the knot is too big, it's difficult to deliver that shoelace through the eyelet of the shoe. So too, in cases of pediatric trigger thumb, if the size mismatch is great enough, thumbs can literally trigger or be locked into a flex condition. There's some information that tells us that over time, pediatric tr trigger thumbs may resolve spontaneously, though it does not resolve spontaneously in all children and can take many years to go away. Here in the hand and upper extremity program, um, we will consider surgical intervention for the children with pediatric trigger thumbs in cases where the thumb is locked and they have long-standing symptoms. Surgery for the pediatric trigger thumb involves a very small incision and release or opening of the tendon sheath or tunnel, thus allowing the tendon to pass freely and easily. After a brief period in a post-operative bandage, uh, these children are allowed to resume their normal activities. And thankfully, the success rates for pediatric trigger thumb release approach 100%. So this is a very common condition that we encounter and care for here in the hand and upper extremity program. And surgical treatment, when performed, can really lead to successful release of the thumbs.